So hi guys, this is Noemi again and um, I'm from Kitty Cats Projects and today I'm gonna show you another set of a travel junk journal that I made and this will be available in my Etsy shop or is already available in my Etsy shop. Um, so yes, this is another um, travel junk journal. Um, this one is a little bit more slimmer than than the um, the fabric one. The the junk journal with a fabric cover. Um, this is very handy. You can actually um, take it with you when you travel. You know, you can travel as a uh, journal as you travel. Um, you can put it in your book bag, your purse. It's, um, yeah. So I'm just going to be um, giving you a, f no, I'm going to flip through both um, journal, but I'm just going to be talking on when I'm showing one of the journal. So, uh, both of them are the same. So, um, maybe the only difference are the placement of the, the pages and the scrapbook papers that I use for, for each journal. So, with that, um, let's go ahead and flip through this um, journal. So, for this journal, I made use of this um, uh, fall letter material. This is usually used for um, upholstery. Um, as you can see, it kind of looks like leather, so that's why I, I love it. Um, there's a book plate, again, with the words journey. You can take that um, paper in and out. If you want to uh, use a different title, that's fine. You can just um, take it out and put your own um, stamp text in there. For the closure, I just use a simple elastic, and, and I just put this um, charm in the front uh, as you can see this one is from Tim Holtz um, this is from the uh, the airplane charm is from uh, paper studio from Hobby Lobby and this one is from my stash so yeah so this one just swoons around the um, the journal there is enough um um what do you call this give to this elastic so yes it can um it can accommodate more bulk but i guess this particular journal is more of a writer's journal but of course you can make it as chunky as you as you want so we open up the journal and in this side of the uh, the cover, we have just a simple, um, what do you call this? Flip, pocket flip. This is an envelope. Um, I've been really um, watching a lot of YouTube t tutorials for making s stacked uh, envelope folios, and I really kind of loved it. I love the, I enjoyed the process of making them. But I don't want to make them as is. I want to incorporate them in uh, in a journal. So for the uh, for the first page, the one that's on the back of the front page, we have here just a simple um, kind of like a uh, it's not a stack um, envelope, but um, I made use of envelopes. This envelope here has a window and it's a belly band. I just stack um, a printable tags and printable um, journaling cards. Again, I'm not. I'm. I'm really not into making my own ephemera. It's. I find the process not too. I'm kind of stressed making them. In short, because um, I don't know. I. I maybe I need to do more practice. But for the most part. I just make use of digitals, uh, printables, or cutouts from a um, um, scrapbook uh, kit. So for this one, I I have here a photo of a cat, and she is. Uh, I mean, the cat's photo is gonna go in here through this side pocket. Uh, maybe I should put like um, like a small string here just so you know where to to pull where to pull the um, the photo I'm gonna do that and then just you know tuck all of these um, 
ephemera on the belly band and then um, you just turn it and on the other side uh, it's just a paper clip wait a second where did I get this from um, you see um, it's from somewhere <laughs> I'm sorry. anyway um, this is just a paper clip and I just uh, I just kept this side of the um, envelope blank so you can put your four by six photos um or um yeah in here is a pocket so you can use you can use this as a pocket i forgot to um put a glue here so i'm gonna make i'm gonna glue this side so you can use this as a pocket here is a um an envelope it's actually pretty hard to find this kind of envelope. Um, um, I have to order it through Amazon. And even Amazon, it's so hard to get this kind of envelope. Um, I, they used to be everywhere, but now they just don't make them anymore. So where is... Yeah, it's clipped here on this side. Yes. Okay. Wait. Yes. Yes, you have to clip it there. And here on this side is just a um, two layered pockets with a top spot here using that same um, uh, viewfinder that I made using my Cricut machine. And here is a printable photo, printable ephemera. Uh, I just glued this here and stamped you um stamp and or um um use my stamp uh team holds correspondence stamp set for my labels and for the first for the first pocket we have just um printables and you can use that as your journaling space more journaling space or um yeah and on the top one this is a vellum pocket is again another um printable this is of a vintage um map so it goes on top of that vellum pocket and then um that's that's a simple yeah this is just that simple and then we go to the um signature itself so this is a um scrapbook paper this is i'm gonna glue this down so you can have here another pocket um this is from a printable i'm gonna link the all the printables i use for this project down below um this is a packaging paper um this is a uh, from a vintage um from a, bin, a vintage book it's a page from a vintage book a printable again another um envelope with a po side pocket i just placed a printable uh, journaling card there another scrapbook paper another um two two packaging paper a brown glassine bag another scrapbook paper more of that um printable from a kit um this is from a vintage dictionary page uh printables printable ledger and another one of that uh, scrapbook paper so we have one um this is the other side of the book i mean the journal i mean the signature page So again, this is so. Th these two pages are sewn together and then reinforced with washi tapes. Um, the washi tapes is also um reinforced with glue because you know sometimes washi tapes doesn't have a lot of hold. Hold on a second. Okay, sorry about that. My cat is um trying to get in inside uh, through the cat flap and I, I i just have to help him out so yeah so again um this is reinforced with a washi tape which is reinforced with glue 
just to make sure that it will hold because you know sometimes washi tape doesn't have um it doesn't hold too much um so yeah um more of that printables it's the other side of i'm gonna glue all of the pockets so you 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 know i'm not gonna leave it as is um another or another um this is the other part of the glassine bag with this one i had to cut from the side because um it's not gonna fit the the um, the width of of the journal so you're gonna have here a side pocket um this is a paper a paper i don't know a packaging paper two of them um here is the top um i forgot i'm i'm gonna glue this again i'm so sorry i just found out that i actually haven't finished this quite finished the whole book yet but yes i'm just gonna be um do, i'm gonna do all the finishing um touches i'm gonna glue all the um the pockets so here is another um po side pocket with a journaling card and uh another one of that um vintage dictionary page um packaging paper more of that digital and scrapbook paper and at the very back uh, i just have here a simple tag um this is a yeah a stack tags so i have here three that looks like kind of like a booklet um this one is an envelope i've just decorated it with a printable this is a um a scrapbook paper from Tim Holtz and inside I just place um, this uh, ephemera which is I think from Daiso which is a Japanese 99 cent store and this one is a printable it goes inside this uh, pocket here wait yeah because it's a pocket you actually this one has two pockets the one that's inside that um envelope and this one goes inside that um what do you call that that opening so it's it ha it's a double um pocket so here we have just that printable tag at the back you can just journal at the back and here is another of the another one of that vellum um pocket and inside is just a printable journaling card and there you go it lives inside this shallow um pocket and that's it for this journal this is really um kind of like a um a slim journal so it goes right on top and slips like that so yep so i'm gonna show you this one they are basically the same the same layout the same design elements even everything is the same i think this is from another um journal um this one have the same closure with from tim holtz from um from paper studio and this is just a bead that's in my stash and an elastic okay so we open it so i see oh okay i see where that one is from um yeah i'm gonna put it later um i have here a charm and um printable tag printable um journaling cards inside is a what do you call this inside is a photo that shows through that window and here is this is the belly band and um you put this inside so that actually um even without this um um this paper clip that photo is gonna stay inside that um that window um envelope because 
um, it's snugly um, it snugly fits in there so really there's no need for a clip but I want to put a a charm there that's why I put it there and then uh, we have here a pocket and, and at the back it's the same thing it's just a clip where I clip um, this envelope a printable and a photo a printable photo and it goes here through the uh, using this paper clip um, yeah again this time um, talk spot a printables it's even the same you see everything is um, the same um, printables for more journaling cards um, here is another one of the printable um, map here is the here the pages uh, I think I've, I uh, I use a different set of digital kit for this one but I'm gonna link all of the digitals that I use down below this is a scrapbook paper um, on your envelope with the journaling card this is a vintage um, book page from an almanac um, this is again a scrapbook paper um, packaging paper I have two scrapbook paper again I'm gonna do all the pockets down uh, printable um, ledger printable the glycine bag um, this is from a um, vintage book page a vintage um, dictionary page the other half of the that glycine bag um, this is again a what do you call this uh, digital kit from a digital kit i think this um yeah this is a ledger digital um scrapbook paper more of that um packaging paper scrapbook paper the other half of that almanac um vintage almanac page more of that um digital the other half of the envelope and this scrapbook paper packaging paper and digital paper again i have here a stack tag um here it's the same so this is a digital tag it lives inside this pocket this one inside the outer outer pocket And here you can just use a journaling space and then you have here a vellum a vellum um, pocket with another journaling card so just put it there there and there there goes the second um, junk journal so again if you're interested please do stop by my etsy shop this is available there and i'm gonna link down below my etsy shop and i'm also gonna link down below all the shops etsy shops where i got my digital kits thank you